So this is the uh, Cabriolet leg that I sought out yesterday afternoon and uh, so now I'm going to uh, smooth it out and uh, I use a, uh, I've got it in a, a pipe vise that I use and it's mounted on the, on the bench and uh, it, there's various ways of doing that but uh, this is how I do it and uh, I've got a spoke shave here this is uh, Lee Valley spoke shave I've used quite a few of them but this Lee Valley one and it's a uh, rounded bottom um, it, it cuts really nice of course you got to keep it sharp but um, so the idea is to get rid of all the saw marks and then you don't you want a continuous curve here all the way down so there's no bumps all the way down it's taking a bit of a strong shaving there it could be a little bit less but uh, some people use the draw knife you can use it you get into here it's hard to to uh, use the the spoke shave it's too so I'll use a rasp or files to, to clean that up but, uh, but I like a, like the, the spoke shave so this is my uh, the second uh, side this side I've done already and uh, there's a little bump right here that needs to come out and then uh, Normally, um, at, the, at some point, you're going to want to round this over, but uh, in the case of this uh, Townsend piece, they have sharp, sharp corners on it. Now, I don't think they'll be as sharp as these, but uh, they'll be uh, they'll be pointed. That's for sure. This side here is not done at all. So, uh, with with the spoke shape, you want to do it always downhill uh, to clean that off so um, I've got some work to do on this side so I'm working on the uh, the knee here and uh, as I said earlier you have to go downhill but here's the transition point so we'll go this direction here down to get the uh, the knee uh, rounded over and uh, smooth and then back downhill on this side and it's, it's there's a, a lump right there so it's getting pretty pretty smooth and uh, of course with the spoke shave you can use it in either either direction you're just applying pressure here to, uh, to make the cut so uh, we'll continue on so now I'm working in this area. I've got the Nicholson rasp here. I'm taking out all the saw marks. And then uh, I'll switch to uh, a file. smoother and smoother there and I've got some fine uh, files here that will take almond shaped that it will take it to a, about a 150 grit with the, with the file so it will get nice and smooth so it's uh, pretty smooth 
right now and uh, lastly uh, we can take the uh, card scraper and get the last of the the mix out that uh, I left with the spoke shave so I got this uh, holder card scraper holder from Veritas uh, Lee Valley and uh, it uh, it does a nice job. I see a lot of bumps there. I'm not sure which way the, the grain is going. I think it's that way. Even though That's better, much better. So I think this is about done for uh, shaping and uh, I like it. And uh, now we're, I'm going to put a mortise in it and uh, put add a side to it. Normally you'd mortise it before you shape the leg but uh, I'm going to trace out the side now and uh and mortise it and so we can take a look at how it's gonna how it's gonna be